Hello everyone, this is The Pretend Critic and thank you for watching my channel. So I just watched Escape Room. Should you watch it? Before I go ahead and tell you what I thought about the movie, please hit that subscribe button to support my channel. So how does my review work? It actually works with four categories. Acting, directing, script, and the X Factor. Basically, X Factor would be how I felt about it. Did I like it? Uh, should I watch it again? So in terms of acting, Escape Room was average. It, it, there was no character that stand out. Even the hero or the protagonist, um, she's in the poster. She didn't really stand out. At first, when you came into the Escape Room, it was like, you hated everyone you you didn't relate to everyone um so i would just say probably out of five which i rate i would say three out of five uh the script was good but not great um there was a lot of things that i do agree that some of the people it's not like the in the 1980s you would see somebody trying to be a lead it wasn't. It was kind of natural and organic. Uh, one would try to lead. One was the bright spot. Um, of course, there's some lines that you just really you would think of. Uh, there was one line that, "Hey, I'm so excited," and it looks like I'm gonna. It's gonna be depressing or something like that. There was one character that said, oh, "This looks like a depressing one." I'm with a lot of people that are very depressed. But other than that, it was a good script except for the ending <laughs> the ending was kind of like it felt like somebody in the studio wanted to say hey i want this to also be a potential uh, franchise let's add something else so we can have the next movie it looks like it might be because with a nine million dollar uh, budget it opened at 18 probably it'll end up at 35 to 40 uh probably get around 100 million so they get back and profit so i guess it does justify a, a sequel but until then it was good but it made cringeworthy when they changed the ending where this one was did uh kind of elevate was the directing and the cinematography some of the escape room was very inventive some of the escape room was really good um especially the third one i think it's when the ceiling was the floor and the floor was the ceiling or vice versa <laughs> it's just the way that um the director did it was very good um i think the director is the same director as insidious three key something i forgot the live so that was the best one in my view uh, four out of five for that uh, the other one for script three out of five acting two out of five and the x factor how did i feel about it what did i feel about escape room well to be honest with you it was okay it didn't bore me because of the escape room itself the five escape room um the few minutes was kind of but in the middle where the psychological they were picked because they were survivors i'm not gonna get more details than that but it was fun but again when you go back to the script the very beginning it was okay but kind of stupid uh, when they started being in the escape room and then when they were trying to do the clues it was good and enjoyable i was still because there was some psychological and why the reason why they were picked is because of their past and the escape room also showed that and that's some of the things that they had to remember to solve and escape from that those escape rooms i think there was five escape rooms um, but it lost me when i don't want to you know when i was already kind of invested but it lost me and again the ending the ending was so shoehorned and a wannabe sequel that it just took me out so instead of getting a four or five from me uh, out of five four 
me enjoying it or as an X factor, I would say it was a two, even maybe a three. Um, so all in all, two, three, three, and three. So 11 out of 20, uh, like a 65. I would say watch it if you have to. It is the very first movie of 2019. It is entertaining enough to keep you, but I guess what you would need to do is once they're out of, once the characters or whoever survives is out of the uh, escape room, just get out. You don't need it to know anymore because it's just going to ruin what they were setting up because they didn't pay it off, to be honest with you. They might pay it off if there was a sequel, but any everything that they've set up before they did not set up so again it's a 65 uh watch it just for enjoyment's sake uh it's okay uh i would just say wait for streaming so what did you guys uh did you watch escape room are you fond of these uh escape room they're kind of a thing now so have you been in an escape room i haven't been and i probably would be interested but i don't know is it scary is it hard Anyway, please subscribe and if you'd like to get more movies or get more videos from me, uh, go ahead and subscribe, hit that subscribe button and if you don't mind, share um, with your friends. And if you want more reviews, there's going to be a link down below of all my reviews and there's a little movie that's still swimming, Aquaman, I have a review down, down below, hit that. And again, that's a wrap.